Could Jordan Peele be the modern master of directing horror movies? Welcome Cinema, where we focus on a film, I'm Josh, this is Simply Cinema, let me know down in the comments below what you think of Jordan Peele, how you would rank his films from your least favorite to your favorite, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already to join in the film culture community where we talk about the love of cinema as a whole, and getting right into the last place we have us. Now I've rewatched all of these films before getting into this ranking, and this one particularly doesn't stand out quite as effectively upon rewatch, it's something that I really enjoy enjoy upon its first watch, it still holds its own ground in being great within its writing, with all of its narrative beats, how it builds up its story, all the mystery tension that goes about along the way with these graphic kills, certain ideas, the twinning of the family, and then realizing it's a revelation across the world. It goes about a creative and unique twist that really builds upon the suspense, really takes on a different toll of your thinking of what is all going on in this situation and even upon rewatch I didn't fully remember everything that was going about so it was still a reconnection of remembrance of what all it was going about and having a big surprise because it's still a really well written and grounded film what it's doing with all its characters but some of its characters aren't just as heavy hitting for what you can really love out of them, what you can pick out of each of them, and really love the concept within their deep dissection of the writing as a whole, taking it a little bit step back even if it still is a good film at last place. And at number two we have Nope. Now this is a highly intellectual sci-fi atmospheric film that is very much up my alley. What they're doing out of it, it's definitely not for everyone. Just the approach, the slow world building, what you're getting out of this alienistic horror that isn't natural to what you expect out of the film. It takes a western sort of environment, goes about this different rant sort of deal, while there's also this film going on and there's certain aspects where the part about Gordy and, and that aspect of the story, as well as Steve Yoon and how he's casted into the film, his particular part as well as Gordy's scene with the monkey, it's good for what you're getting out of that, as well as Steve Yoon as an actor with his performance as a whole, but there are particular parts of the film just feel like they're extra parts thrown in there, almost like their own little horror movie. Well, Steve Yoon still plays a part where his character is essential, at least to the plot, what you're involving, or at least following along with this side character that gets involved with some of the characters that get sucked up first into the spaceship, and so it is a crucial part, but it also doesn't have as large of an impact, especially trying to build upon his character, only to take him out fairly quickly in some sense of what you're building up with the story as a whole. There are certain things where it shows that there's true stakes, there's a character building out of a cloud and building out of the spaceship because you never truly see the aliens. And so that's what really makes it an atmospheric film that I love the vibe. And especially leading up into the third act, it's a slow build up that really has a great payoff with its third act, great action, the build up of its characters, what it's doing about its division without their plan, and taking on this expansive landscape creates some great cinematography that gets some great camera work where they're taking on with great props, what they're doing with everything that's involved with the spaceship, taking on a unique turn, having the spaceship first be a part of the cloud, and then being opened up, and you're not still totally recognizing what is all going on within the spaceship and everything that is going on throughout, but that makes it that much more suspicious, mysterious, and adding in that blood rain scene just is creepy as heck and just building on the suspense and the atmosphere as a whole just creates this to be an, a mysterious one that I love all the same. And at number one we have Get Out. Yes it's been leading up to that on the TV screen that it's just a interesting film that works effectively upon rewatch because it takes this fourth dimensional twist that I won't spoil for the ideas as a whole even if you haven't watched it 
but just how you're seeing little hints dropped here and there along the way of what this hint is going up to and even upon rewatch you don't fully understand what it is if you haven't seen them well but knowing how to take on those clues, being able to understand the characters, it's mysterious all the way throughout, but it's still intriguing because you see certain things become strange by the way characters are re interacting, the racism undertone that is being added on screen. But that still adds to the element of intrigue, even upon rewatch. It's not a hit heavy hitting film for me personally. The pacing could be a bit quicker, but for the story beats, for the writing as a whole, it really does have its own standings, what it's getting out of the characters. Daniel Kalilia is just great for what you're asking for his role and being able to have all these other characters that deliver on a suspicious element that is fitting to what is making out of what works as a questionable first time watch but even upon rewatch becomes that much clearer but also still understanding where all these characters are coming from and also having these added mystery elements near the end having these plot twists that really builds upon this closed off landscape now there's a couple of moments with daniel kaluuya's his character and his friend back at home that it takes a little bit of an offbeat element where they're trying to involve the detective agency that takes it a little bit away from the consistent flow of the nature of the story but still with fitting in that character it adds in an extra element that goes about and it builds upon the suspense the element the intrigue to this great twist as a whole making it my favorite film from Jordan Peele as a whole so let me know down in the comments below what do you think of Jordan Peele as a director do you like him do you not like him or is someone right in the middle do you how would you rank his films and do you feel his films fit your vibe as a whole and make sure to like this video if you enjoy it subscribe if you haven't already to join in film culture community where we talk about a lot of cinema as a whole so that's just all and make sure to do yourself a favor and go watch a movie